Hello, I'm Simzart, an illustrator and comic book artist. In this video, I'm going to show how to create a comic panel or an illustration using a limited color palette using Clip Studio Paint. In the previous video, we saw how to create a limited color palette using Clip Studio Paint tools and how to create an artwork with it. In this video, we'll talk about keep the limited color palette consistent through our body of work, final touches and color corrections, exporting our artworks, color palettes, and tools. Creating a limited color palette design is challenging, but it can be even more challenging to keep the colors consistent through multiple scenes, in case of a comic, or different illustrations for an illustration project. Consistency is the key for an organic look, and can't be achieved just using the same color palette over and over. An example could be drawing objects with specific colors that are not in our limited color palette. In this case, we may have to create a new color to add to our limited color palette, making sure that it fits nicely. For very special moments, we can break the color palette using new colors for example, but as rule of thumb, we want to make sure that every new color is selected carefully. Once we have a new color, we can use our color set in Clip Studio Paint to save it for future uses. We can also rename the colors to better remember what those colors are for. Every artwork we create can be of course be slightly adjusted after we finish to boost some details or the overall contrast and so on. I like to use the tool Select Color Gamut in Select, Select Color Gamut. This allows us to only select a range of colors in order to correct them slightly. Another great tool is Brightness and Contrast, located in Layer, New Correction Layer, where we can correct the overall contrast of the picture. I also love to use Hue, Saturation, Luminosity, also located in Layer, New Correction Layer, in combination with Select Color Gamut to fine-tune the colors of a piece. Finally, I like to use Color Balance, available in Layer, new correction layer as well to apply a bit of global color correction on the shadows, midtones and highlights. What we created so far, the artwork, the color palette or our workspace can be exported to store it safely. This is a very important part of the process because finding the exact values we used, especially when a lot of time passes between an artwork and another, can be difficult or impossible. When we finally have our favorite colors, our favorite workspace or our layers are perfectly arranged, we can save everything and export it. In order to export an artwork, we can go in File, Save, and save the Clip Studio Paint file of our design. We can also save the whole project as a template. To do so, we can go in Edit, Register Material, template and follow the instructions on screen. In order to open a new project using our template, we can go in File, New and check the template checkbox. Then click on the button next to it and select our template. We can also register our color set as material by clicking on a menu button on the color set panel, register color set as material. In this way, we can always recall it from our material panel located in Window, Material. We can also export the color palette as a file, clicking on a color set menu icon and then export color set. Finally, we can save as material our workspace, clicking on window, workspace, register workspace as material. Saving all our tools to be able to recall them in future will add an extra layer of consistency to our whole body of work. With our artwork using a limited color palette and all our efforts safely stored, we reached the end of this tutorial series. Working with colors is fun and creative, and I hope that through all the tips that I tried to share in this series, your work is going to be a bit easier, or these give you some new ideas to create an amazing masterpiece. With all that being said, I hope you find this video useful, and for any question, leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can find more about my work on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. See you next time.